Hi, today I'm going to draw a pepper and then color it with colored pencils. Here I've done it on poster board, but what I'm going to do is I found this brown paper. It's like a brown paper um, crafting paper or a brown paper bag. And the supplies you'll need is a pencil eraser, a pencil sharpener because of your colored pencils, and then a whole bunch of your colored pencils. So I'm going to do a yellowed pencil. So I pulled out my yellow colored pencil, a light green, a regular green, a white for highlights, and then the peachish color for highlights, and then brown and yellow will help me with a little bit of the shading that I need and to add more color to the body of the pepper. So I'm going to draw this out with pencil first, which may be a little bit harder for you to see just because it is on darker paper, but I have where I'm going to start here and do the center and then the two other parts and remember make them taller and a little bit skinnier than what a pumpkin is and you can even add in the details of where the pepper has that little bit of a curve in each piece or segment of that pepper and then it will end up looking something like this also those little segments you can think of as like you're starting to draw a heart but you curve it at the bottom instead of putting a point on it so I'm just thinking the pepper stem is going to be up in this area. The bottom of the pepper, I'm going to go to about right here. And so I'm going to do that first part of the pepper or that center part. And I'm going to sketch these in and then come back. Let's make this one go this way. And erase if I press too hard, especially since it is a yellow pepper, the pencil lines will be showing through it. You can also do this in oil pastels, you could do this in chalk. And then we have our C shapes that we need to do is those outside parts of our pepper. So this one I'm going to start here and then do another little segment of it coming outward. So this would be my C part here. And then I'm doing that other part of the same segment. And don't bring these down further than your pepper because it's gonna throw you off later when you're like, why doesn't this look right? Then we can add in a stem and let's just have it go up and inwards and then it will go outwards and then what you still need to do is the back part of the pepper here so we want a segment kind of like what we started here and then you would have this part of the pepper coming up right behind the stem to or it may not even be showing, kind of up to you. And then later we'll be putting in our shadow and everything. So if you pressed really hard with your pencil, this is where you want it to get erased so that's not showing through quite as much. And obviously don't erase all your lines, but I'm just gently rubbing the side part of the eraser. I'm not sitting there erasing really hard with it. So now what I'm going to do is start in with my yellow and I'm not going to be pressing down really hard. I'm going to do a layer and a layer and a layer and a layer just like what we have done in the pumpkins in the past. And I'm following that contour of that body of the pepper.
yellow pepper on brown paper with colored pencil definitely looks different than the one that is on white paper right here. So you can see a very big difference between the two. So here is the yellow pepper on white paper. And you could do the baby oil on both of these to where it would smooth it out a little bit different than what this is. It changes the texture of it too. And then here is the white on the brown paper, like it's brown paper bag kind of. So my colored pencils did even lay down differently than what they do on this. Thanks for watching.